All right, I'm just skipping the preamble today. Last time. Ugh. Oh, and then they go. Thanks to you, the twelve shadows behind all this chaos have been destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about Strega first. Ugh, I feel like I'm never gonna stop complaining about these guys. They're gonna put me in the home. I'm gonna be telling my caretakers about how Takaya's wasted potential. Actually, didn't want to complain uh, on this occasion. In fact, I, I wanted to rescind a bit of the negativity that I had uh, on the last part. I went away and I took some more time to think about it, particularly in regards to Takaya. Now, I, I would still argue that his motivations still seem to be kind of self-defeating, but let's... Let's play devil's advocate as best we can here. So, we... I feel like we we picked up enough of the backstory here. Striker were experimented on as kids. So... We're looking at some people that basically never really had a, a sense of normality to begin with, right? They were treated inhumanely and were constantly at threat of, of dying to their own personas. So for someone like that to have found some kind of stability in the power that the Dark Hour has given them, I can see the through line to feeling that the destruction of that would be akin to their own loss of, of purpose and... and a fate worse than death, I suppose. Uh, did they say that? Something along those lines. I mean, I say they. It's really Takaya in particular. His entire identity seems to be structured around the Dark Hour and his persona. It's validated his existence. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't seem to have any kind of life outside of of that. As far as we can tell, apparently he, you know. We, we caught from a random student that he does walk around town sometimes, but what does he do in his time off? We have no idea. The game never gets into it. There is a there's a manga apparently about uh like covers a little bit of Strega's day to day. It's like a side story thing. It's called like Shadow Cry. I hadn't heard about this until the other day actually. It was from you know 2007 or something like that. It was actually drawn by Soejima, the the lead artist on the original. Which, that's kind of cool. Maybe I should actually go read that or something. Anyway, the point is, yeah, he, he's, he, his entire, his entire being is so wrapped up in this that for him to not be able to see past that and for the, and to not be able to like even consider the idea that the collapse of society would not be a good thing for him. It, it kind of makes sense, to a degree. And it's possible, I suppose, depending on the way he actually conducts his life, that the Collapse of Society wouldn't actually mean anything to him, although I have a lot of trouble believing that. You know, man's still gotta eat, right? Like, uh, I don't know what his plan as far as that goes, but I guess the, I guess the point is also that they're not very forward-thinking, right? Live only in the moment. So, yeah, maybe I was a little overzealous in my saying his thing doesn't make sense. The problem, I guess the problem is that his own perspective and that of the members of C's just, there's no real, there's no real overlap there. We're all sort of outcasts in a way, but still integrated into society in a way that, that Strega are not. Uh, it's still, it's still a concern for us, so... There's just no, there's just no way that the, these two perspectives can really come to any kind of understanding, I guess. I guess that, that mostly just covers Takaya. As for Jin, yeah, I mean, Jin, Jin is, he doesn't have the same uh, fundamental motivations as Takaya. We do know, I don't think we've seen it so far, but we know that he's uh, apparently very online. Uh, so he clearly has at least something going on outside of his... Uh, Dark Hour nonsense, but he just he's just very Dedicated to Takaya apparently 
And outside of that, he's just kind of a spiteful prick, I guess. I guess we could talk about Akutsuki a little. I don't know. I don't actually feel like I have a huge amount to say about him. I think the problem with Akutsuki in this game, is similar to what I said in the last part, is that his, his angle just feels kind of clumsy. Because he starts going on about all this stuff that you, you couldn't have any possible inkling of beforehand. Like, the, him just saying prophecy, like the word prophecy is so like tainted in so many ways in media that it it feels like it drags everything down a bit with how how contrived it feels. Although I, I will say that uh, they did, it's not like entirely new, but they did rewrite that one line that he has before he uh, he goes over about not being able to fix this broken world. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. The only possible way to fix this is to start over! That feels like a stronger character point than we ever really got from him. I mean, it was sort of along the same lines or whatever, but he never stated it so clearly. And the way it was delivered as well, credit to the voice acting, you do get a strong sense of the the desperation and the despair of, a, of someone that's just been broken by the world, which, I mean, you know, I feel like we've all been there one time or another. He's he's also he's just kind of, he just he's just nuts. So I do kind of appreciate at the very least that since they kind of spring that whole thing on you out of nowhere, he doesn't then also stick around and continue being present. <laughs> they 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 shuffle him out. He serves his role to like screw everything up, and then he exits stage left. And okay, we can kind of move on because I think that would be a bit much if he. If he hung around and continued to antagonize us, that would that would be no bueno. I don't think I have anything to really cover on Mitsuru. We still have yet to see how that will all play out, so... I guess we kind of got the end point for Yukari right at the right at the end of the, the last part. She got her second awakening and she's found some kind of resolution. It's a bit interesting that it was sort of more externally motivated as compared to the other ones that we've seen so far. In the case of all the other Second Awakenings, there was some... There was an, an inciting incident. There was, a, there was a stimulus that caused it. But those were mostly negative events. Well, I mean, I guess, I don't know. Mariyama moving away is, is not quite on the same scale as uh, as Shinji dying, but well, whatever. The point is, in those cases, the characters faced some kind of inner turmoil and were forced to come to some kind of new resolution, right? And they had to confront issues that they'd been struggling with in their lives up until that point and make the conscious choice to to move past them in some way. Whereas for Yukari, it was kind of the opposite. Since she was tested when it had seemed that the faith in her faith in her father had been misplaced. And her second awakening only comes when it, it turns out that it was it was valid actually. And that she hadn't been she hadn't been wrong for believing in him all that time. And it, it re it reignited that that conviction for her. And yeah, it's it's weird, like, yeah, it doesn't quite it doesn't follow the same pattern. It kind of feels a little I, I don't know, unearned is probably that's unfair. It's more delayed, like the 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 conviction that she had in herself paid off later. <laughs> like it took time. It had to go away for a little bit and then it came back around. I don't know. That's kind of interesting, actually. I hadn't really, I hadn't really thought about that before. I think that about covers it. Oh my god! All right, now I'm going to talk about our our post arc wrap up summary, whatever the hell thing that I've been doing. 
this is the thing I was going to say after the last arc, but I kind of, I forgot, so I didn't get the chance to do it. And, I don't know, I, I've been kind of going back and forth on it a little bit. I'm not really sure if I exactly feel this way, but it was an impression that I had, and I, I did intend to elaborate on it, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it. Persona 3 Reload feels underbaked. Just a bit. It's, it's good in all the places where things needed to be good. There's nothing uh, obviously like wrong with it or horrendously executed. It's, as, as I said, it's so faithful to the original that there isn't a lot of room for it to like go off the rails. And all of that is fine. And it's definitely better than I expected it to be. Well, I'm not really sure exactly what I expected it to be. It's definitely better than I was worried it would be. We'll go with that. It's not as good as I hoped it would be. Does that make sense? Like, there's a version of this game in my head that's just the... where I just get everything that I could have ever wanted. And it's not even... like... It doesn't necessarily even add all that much on, on what we had to begin with. I mean, aside from, you know, incorporating the stuff from Persona 3 Portable that should definitely fucking be here. But yeah, you know, you just see, like, uh, you know, a, a badly mapped texture here, or a floating table there, or a weirdly drawn over 3D render in that one place or that other place, like, it's just, uh, you know, like, you could have taken the extra time to, like, really polish it and make it, like, really nice. But you just made it good enough so that at a glance it looked fine. But if you actually take the time to really investigate it, it's weird. It's nothing that you could point to it and say, boy, that sure is terrible. This game sucks. But it's, it, they all just kind of add up to this feeling of... There wasn't... there wasn't a, that much love in this... in this project. Like, we're, we're coming into work to get our paycheck, and I... No disrespect to that, that's how I've lived my life up till now. But... I think Persona 3 deserved better than what this is, and that's... What I feel like it deserved was something it was obviously never going to get. It was, it was, it was certainly unrealistic. Uh, because I have an unreasonably high opinion of the game. But it's still kind of disappointing, uh, even in spite of all that. This is like mega nitpick territory. This is certainly unfair. And way beyond what any normal sane person could possibly care about. That's just how I felt. I can't help it. So I guess that's where I'm at. Alright, that's enough babbling. Let's actually play the video game, shall we? As you already know, Mitsuru's a very strong person. But this is just too huge. I think it's best if we skip going to Tartarus tonight. Not everyone is here, so... I doubt anyone would want to go, anyway. What in the world was Akutsuki-san plotting? He went on about resurrection and sacrifices, but he kicked the bucket before explaining the most important part. I never thought he would be such an irresponsible adult. Wow, Ken does not have any sympathy, and nor should he. Ugh, I can't believe we respected that scumbag at Kutsky so much! Dude, I'm so pissed off! This would be a great time for one of those memory erasers. I'm not gonna trust another adult ever again. Yeah, I can't help but notice that, um, still a lot of losses around, even though we beat that last shadow, huh? Didn't really seem to be all that helpful, did it? I feel like this, this music's a little incongruous with how I'm feeling right now. Maybe that's a good thing. Uh, I don't think I can do it. Mitatsu seems to be drinking by himself. What? Huh? Leave me alone. No. It's you. Hey. Can you help me out, kid? I don't feel so good. Damn it. I can't believe I let this happen. 
how pathetic. Oh, I'm in bad shape. Uh, I think he's been drinking too much. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> I just told you I'm in bad shape, didn't I? Yeah. Don't piss me off, kid. Making my headache worse. Not oh, deal with it, you big baby. I'm not gonna waste my breath repeating myself. I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct. Signing the heart sutra with a hangover is gonna be rough. Back in the day, all I needed was a cold shower and I'd be fine no matter how much I drank. I guess I'm getting old, huh? It's always in times like these, when it's hardest to be alone. Do you live by yourself? You act like you don't care about others, kid. You sure can be nosy when you want to. I got all these gaudy rings on now, but I used to wear a wedding ring, you know? If you think about it, it's better to be alone. Less stress. You don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. The sun took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. Uh, I don't think he's trying to convince me anymore. Everything we see has form. No form has permanence. It's all in constant motion. Form has no self. His true face is that of emptiness. And yet... Form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. No two things in this world are the same. Well, to put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, one else can always mess it up. Because form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. Maybe getting involved with you messed up my life a bit, too. <laughs> Whoops. Contrary to his words, I can sense feelings of affection for Mutatsu. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. I'm gonna go home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh yeah, about the memorial service. It was a seventh day memorial. It was only 19. Random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. No one I know, I hope. Be careful on your way home too, kid. I said goodbye to Mutatsu and went back to the dorm. Oh. Well, that's weird. What are we doing? Uh, huh. I haven't been back here like this in a while. As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? What? Uh, I don't think I did notice. I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer to the change in your mentality. Me? You're talking to me? That is why I have summoned you here tonight. I don't actually know what he's talking about. Going forward, there is one thing you mustn't forget. The paper I signed at the dorm is lying before Eagle. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I mean, you can go ahead and remind me all you like. I still don't really understand what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. I choose this fate. Of mine own free will, there is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. Well, what'd you drag me in here for if it doesn't matter what I do? I don't actually understand. Maybe he's just trying to, like, make us think harder. I don't appreciate that. I'd like to think less hard. Thank you. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your actions. 
Yeah, yeah, no yeah. matter what sort of end they may bring about. Please do keep that in mind. Whatever, Dad. Well then, I bid you farewell. What was the point of that? <laughs> That's not new. That I, I I seem to recall that from the original, but I, it's I don't. It's yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Fury. I guess it's just trying to remind you of stuff that happened 60 hours ago or whatever. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. Huh? Is that not it? I was right. This fear, this pain. Junpei, in two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. How do you ask? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. <laughs> he says casually. Huh? Oh. I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me! But, oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... This is... too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit, but now it's different. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei, don't come here anymore. Chidori. But why? <laughs> Womp. I don't know how much, again, I feel like I should talk about this. But clearly she's... She's becoming attached, and that's, uh, that's a problem for, for her in her, uh, nihilistic state, I guess. Must suck being from such an influential family. I bet some people aren't sad at all about what happened. They just want to make a grab for power. By the way, did you know the Creature Group built the school? I hope nothing bad happens. Oh, I suppose I should see if we've got anything going on over here. Odin juice. My apologies. Oh, about the request, I hear it is very difficult to obtain even one can of Odin juice. Even among canned drink fanatics, only a few have managed to get their hands on it. As it would be unwise to conduct a search without any leads, I advise that you first speak with an expert. This is merely a hunch, but perhaps you'll find one such person near a persimmon tree. Yeah, I do know how to do this quest. It's actually kind of bullshit, and in the original game, it's very missable. If you don't mind, I'd like you to bring me a certain food. However, it is not something that is typically consumed by humans. In fact, one of your friends seems to delight in eating it. The furry one with four legs. Did you know that? Okay. You want dog food, is what you're saying to me. Okay. Uh, okay. Come to think of it. While we were taking a stroll around Gekokan High School together, I noticed the flowers in the rooftop garden were on the verge of dying. Perhaps because not many people frequent that area. What a sad sight for such a lovely spot. Would you be so kind as to give those flowers some water? I'll await a report of success. More chores. Oh, good. If I may say so. The request this time is to clean up the city. The location shall be Port Island Station's restroom. Please help clean that area. You have already been provided with the necessary cleaning tools, so please make good use By of them. All means. Yeah, so actually this one, you need um, the scrub brush, which is like the, the weapon that Ken gets. Uh, for clearing some requests or whatever. I may have in the past sold that and then Help. not been able to complete the look this. In your eyes. It's strong, fierce. A far cry from how you looked the day we first met. What? Could... I really don't need this right now. Anyway, yeah, so you you used to be able to screw yourself with that. I don't know if it's that it works that way in this one, but someone seems to be cleaning the restroom. Should I enter the restroom? Why not? 
Hey, you can't come in here. I'm still scrubbing the floors. Huh? You're not here to use the toilet. Oh, okay. So you're here to help out, huh? Wow, you even brought your own brush. You really came prepared, didn't you? Alright then, let's just start from the other corner. Looks like I'll be helping the cleaning lady. One tile just won't get clean. You soap, idiot. Even with soap on the brush, the grime won't come off. What should I do? Alright, I <laughs> can put your back into it. I gave it all my strength and the grime is beginning to lift. The tile's completely clean. Wow, you could eat off that floor. You help clean the school restrooms after lunch or something? You really know your stuff. Thanks, kid. Just leave the rest of it to me. I successfully helped clean the restroom. Great. I sure feel... I'm doing... <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting my time. I suppose I could run around and talk to NPCs. I haven't done that in a while. Hmm, strange. The victims from that incident aren't going away. Usually they disappear after the full moon, but... Maybe something's changed and I didn't notice? Well, whatever it is, it doesn't seem good. The flowers seem like they're about to wilt. It looks like this spot didn't get any water. Maybe I should water the flower bed. I gave the flowers some water. They should be fine for now. Do I have to, like, do this a bunch of days in a row or something? No? I guess not. Okay. Kirito-senpai's father died from an illness, right? It's not like I've ever met him, but it's kind of shocking. I think people are overblowing the whole thing. I guess he's a famous person and all, but... I kind of feel bad for her, you know? She's getting all this unwanted attention now. Kansai, huh? So even if I take the bus, it'll cost around 10,000 yen? Oh, How many drinks could I get with 10,000 yen? Yeah, what's up? So you like drinks too, huh? All of yours are normal drinks. That Kansai only drink is so rare and awesome that everyone wants a sip. She doesn't seem interested in the drinks I could buy here. <sighs> I wonder what that means. I feel like they didn't even really give you that tip in the original, like, at all. You just had to... You just had to do it. I How did I even figure out how to do it? I think I looked it up. <laughs> Probably. Man, Kirijo sounds impressive. Her dad just died, but she still went to a meeting about the future of the Kirijo group. She's a real go-getter, that one. Wish I could be like that. Eh, who am I kidding? I like being lazy. Do you think there's something strange about the observatory? I mean, no one's ever heard about anyone actually going inside of it. And there's no trace of it ever being used. I guess if no one's ever been inside, then obviously there wouldn't be a trace of it being used. Thank you for watering the flowers that were on the verge of withering. Think of it. I've heard that plants grow so long as one continues to water them. Admirable, isn't it? But plants aren't the only ones capable of such a thing. Maybe I'll try this watering process on myself as well. There's a part of me I'd like to cultivate. <laughs> the next time you see me, maybe I'll have grown a little in some way. I'm... I'm concerned as to what she might be referring to. Let's just not think about it too hard. Maid outfit. Oh, okay. Great. Let's hear the results. It seems you've completed our request. Thank you for your help cleaning the Port Island Station oh, restroom. Yes. The brush you used to clean the bathroom. The filth that's now encrusted on the bristles might help in battle. A very primitive form of biological warfare. Maybe this is a sort of weapon fusion. No? Please take this as your reward. You know, that, that, that joke made more sense when... Weapon fusion was a system in the game. Well, <laughs> but it isn't anymore. But they didn't change the dialogue. That's kind of funny. <sighs> Kenji Bebe. I think I, we're, we're done with Kenji, right? On the next time we hang out with him. So that's good. I don't, it means I don't need to cart a magician around anymore. Uh, let's hang out with, with Bebe then. I don't know. Are you busy? To master the way of the kimono, I have need of your strength. I must sew. Kataji Kenai, I am eternally grateful. Then today, I shall sew as I have never sewed before. Sewing is my life. My wallet may be light, and my materials may be cheap. But I will work out to make a beautiful kimono and save my future. I helped Bebe work on the kimono. Hmm. Hui. This is starting to come together. Manzoku. When my uncle sees this, I know he'll agree with me about how great Nihon is. Let's talk more work. <laughs> uh, he'll definitely agree. Yeah, that doesn't... I believe you. Which means I must work even harder. That doesn't sound like a grand delusion at all. I made so much progress today. And I could not have done it without your help. 
Merci. Arigato. Thank you. Any other languages in there? Bebe seems truly grateful. I feel like we're growing closer. You could go with a Dankeschön, right? There's another one for you. I, I don't know. I'm not really. Uh, it's all right. Ugh, my arms are so very tired. Grazie. There's one. I've I, I've got a few of these. I must have overworked them. Sewing? Wow. You must have really been going in, damn. But no matter what's the cost, I will finish this kimono. For my future, for Nihon, I cannot give up now. I spent the day helping Bebe, then went back to the dorm. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. Ah, <sighs> you just, you just won't leave me alone. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked that was open, yeah. Way. Okay. Good. Thank you. Looks like Mitsuru won't be coming back for a while. I'd like to think that she'll be okay, but I'm not so sure this time. Sounds like there aren't any major issues with Igis. What a relief. But I wonder if she's doing okay. I hope she doesn't feel guilty or anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, she just nearly murdered all of us. I'm sure she's fine. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I wasn't being facetious at all. That's really reassuring coming from you. I, I don't know, I probably shouldn't have said that. Oh, it's okay. Breaking news. Over the last few days, apathy syndrome has spread even further. Everyone is disappointed after the announcement said it would begin to diminish around the 20th. Oh, wait, she's just here. Oh, I kind of thought she wasn't here, but she's here. Wait, what? Oh, I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, yeah, okay, everything's fine. I am truly sorry. Even though he took control of me, I cannot believe I did such a thing to you. Could you ever forgive me? Yeah, it's done. You have my thanks. Thank you. I will continue to do what I can to help. Dog. I want your food, dog. Give it to me. Kormar seems to be happy after eating his fill of dog food. Come to think of it, Elizabeth wanted dog food for some reason. I shudder to think of, of the reason in question. But she wanted it, and uh, I am a slave to her will, apparently. It looks like he thinks I'm hungry. Kormaro is giving me a meaningfully, meaningful stare, his eyes full of sympathy. Gee, thanks, I guess. I think he's trying to share his dog food with me. Maybe I should accept it. Okay, cool. I have the dog food now. Hey, um... It's hard to believe in something. Just because you believe doesn't make it true, after all. Personally, I almost stopped believing so many times. But ultimately, I'm glad that I kept holding on to that belief. Because it turns out that my dad has always been the dad that I believed he was. Great, I'm really glad for you. Chidori? What happened to you? Okay, he's not doing so good. So this is the food enjoyed by your little furry friend. Oh, the label says luxury dog food. Is your friend something of a gourmet? Oh what an enticing aroma. Don't tell me they used that as an ingredient. I truly envy your friend for being able to enjoy such luxurious meals. Please take this as your reward. Okay. I got a bone for my dog. Ooh. If I may say so. Featherman action figure. This time, would you bring me a Featherman R action figure? Surely you know the catchphrase, evil be gone, the Phoenix Ranger of love and justice is here. And allow me to clarify, I am only asking for a Featherman R action figure. Keep in mind, no other Featherman will do, not for this request. I will await a report of success. Okay. I guess, okay. Uh, Very well. I don't know that I necessarily would even have another one. I should guess I should probably ask Ken about it. I mean, unless there's one in this vending machine. I don't think that's how it works. Also, it's not a vending machine. It's a UFO catcher. Uh, all right. Well, back we go. Oh, hello, Yonsan. <gasps> what? A uh, Featherman R doll? Isn't that the prize you can win in our raffle? You enter by buying packs of gummy gum. Why would you want one? You're already in high school. I... Well, I do have one. Thanks, kid. Uh... Uh, I'm not into it or anything, I just happen to have extra raffle tickets. Um, I actually have a dupe of the same color, so you can have it. <sighs> but, please take good care of it. Wow, I didn't know you liked Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Maybe we could watch it together sometime. Okay. I mean, you know, I, I tune every in every Sunday. I pretty much just watch the, like, in the, like, 
episode summary at the start or whatever, but... May I have a moment of your time? There's yet another location I would like to visit. Would it be alright if, um, well, if you could invite me to your I room? Be waiting, then. I'll be waiting for you here. Okay. I, I don't think we can do that at night, can we? Also, that was... We got to that part earlier than I thought. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. It seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. I see you've obtained a Featherman R action figure. May I hold it? Interesting. You can put it in various poses and play oh with it. My. Oh, it's flexible enough to be put in this kind of pose. Um, this may be a bit overwhelming for me, emotionally speaking. You may have this back. <laughs> okay. Please take this as your reward. Great. Thanks. Uh, I believe that you can't do this at night, right? Shame. Yeah. Alright. Very well. That'll have to wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow, dude. We're recording for an hour. This episode is gonna be really short, or like, stupidly, like, <laughs> or there's gonna be way too much like rambling in it. I think I should probably cut call it here though. I've been doing parts that are a bit too long for my own good, so we'll uh, yeah, that's that. <sighs> What the hell kind of an outro was that? That sucked. I need to work on this.